in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create an interactive video with questions already inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google Classroom and on the left hand side, I'm going to click on the resources tab. I have an option for the new video activity. So I'm going to click on that. And then here's where it's going to ask me for to either search YouTube or paste a URL. So in this case, I'm going to search YouTube for parts of a cell. Now that I've done this search, you're going to see that I have multiple um, possibilities here. Now you're going to notice that some of them have suggested questions. So in this case, I'm going to pick this intro to cells, the grand cell tour by my friends, the Amoeba sisters, and select this video. Once I select this video, I'm going to go ahead and add questions. Now that I've added the questions, it's going to automatically put the questions in at the timestamp for the video that it suggests. Now remember, this is generated AI, this is auto generated, so we need to double check the questions and the answers prior to assigning this to our students. So I'm going to click on the first one. So it is a multiple choice question. It's going to take me to the timestamp and it is going to give me the question and then here are the possible answer choices and this is the selected correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check through all these just to make sure they're good to go and then when I know they're good I'm going to say done. But before I say done let's try it as a student. So I'm going to get started here. I'm going to move it on up to our first question. And now I've gotten to the timestamp. So now I have a question that I need to answer and I'm going to go ahead and I can select an answer here. Now if I select the wrong answer and submit it, it's going to let me know that it's the wrong answer and I can rewatch or I can select another answer. And now I've gotten it right. So now I can continue and I'll continue on in the video. But we're gonna say that I'm done. And now my activity is here in my resources. So now I'm going to go to my classroom and I am going to now assign this assignment. So I'm gonna do create an assignment and I have a topic for the video, so I am going to find my video topic. And I am going to select YouTube. And I'm going to go to my video activities. Now here's my introduction to cells, and I'm going to select this. And now I am ready to attach this to the assignment for my students. Again, it's going to ask me one more time, make sure that I've reviewed each question before attaching it, and I'm going to attach it. So now this is my assignment for my students, and it's ready to go, and I can give it a due date if I want. So let's give it a due date of Friday and assign it. And that's it. It's now assigned to my students and I can see when they have finished it, just like this quiz is finished, I can review the work. And once I review the work, I'm going to get this page and this is going to give me insights on my students who completed the work and how many times that they had to what problems they had how many students had trouble so I can see 
this first student had trouble with question two and question four, and this second student had trouble as well. So because it's a lighter color of gray, it means that they completed it as complete after two or more attempts. So I can actually dig in there deeper and click on this. And it's going to show me specifically for this student what questions they answered the first time and what questions they answered after that. And so if they had more than a few attempts, they will all show up here. And then I can get into what they were actually thinking or maybe not thinking. So there you go. So that is how you're going to see the answers. And then because it's three out of four here, I can go ahead and grade it right here as well.